This is just a short video to show you how to add captions to the galleries on the Thornhill Parish Church website. So once you've logged in, you'll notice there's a new item here on the left hand side called gallery. And this is where we would um, change the gallery captions. So looking at the front page of the website, if we go to the organ restoration photos and then now that we're logged in we can go to edit page and we'll see that here in the uh, content management system there's something that refers to gallery ID 3 and that's a useful way of knowing w uh, which gallery you're dealing with. So again if we go view page, go to look at the front. Um, none of these images, as you know, has any captions. And um, in order to do this, as I say, we go to the gallery section and then to manage galleries. And then you'll see the gallery ID is number three and also it's been usefully named organ restoration so that's another way of knowing you've got the right images and in this section you'll see here alt and title text and description and the alt and title is uh, it's a good idea to put an alternative that's what alt stands for alternative um, description of the image um, so you could just put organ restoration zero one and then here is where you put a description that will appear at the bottom of the image so I'm just going to write uh, this is a test description please delete and um, once you've written this in, you can go through all of the images one by one, if you wish. Um, although it's probably a good idea to save changes occasionally. So using this blue Save Changes button, click on Save Changes. And then let's see how this has affected the image on the front end. So what we'll find now, I'll just, I'll just refresh the page. And as we roll over, we'll see the alt text, the alternative text. And on the um, images that we haven't edited, it says 498, 500, 512, and so on. On the first one, it says organ restoration 01, and that's the alt text. And that's, it's actually good to put in that alt text or title um, for people who um, are using screen readers to browse your website. Um, blind people may be using something that reads out the description of the image and that's why it's good to have that. And if we click on this image you'll see now that there's a, a test description here, what the uh, words that we wrote in earlier and they now appear underneath the image. And that's all, all there is to it. Um, once you finish, log out as usual. Um, and if you have any questions, please um, don't hesitate to get back to me.